My name is Julia Benite. I am the director for programs for the Institute for National Transformation. And I have been with this institute for the last decade, and it has been an incredible journey of understanding leadership, transformational leadership specifically, and the objectives of this course, this particular course, the OCSEED Executive Leadership course, one of the main objectives is to explore different leadership modules, principles, and from that propose what Africa can do to develop further her own space. It's very critical for Africa to realize that the Western Europe, Asia, each one of them had to create the nation. Nations are not built by spirits. They are built by men and women who love their country. And so Africans, we need these principles and in the Institute for National Transformation, these principles are well explained. The Institute for National Transformation is specifically designed for the Africans and especially those of African descent. And it juxtaposes its topics to solving the problems within the African sector. We have had great universities that come with great uh, principles, but they are not able to understand Africa and its uniqueness and what is required to transform her. And this institute gives you that opportunity to come into the institute, we break down over six modules to begin to showcase how Africa can literally be transformed by one unit or the other and each individual in their different spheres of influence demonstrating that change is possible. Africa needs to understand that change requires processes, it's not automated, it is created. INT has been on, we call it INT, Institute for National Transformation for the last decade, over a decade now both in Uganda, Nigeria, we have presence in Rwanda and other nations. And our leaders in the Institute begin to realize that because the vision of the Institute is to raise value base, no excuse leaders. And one of the things that happens is that most of our leaders who come out, they begin to deal with these scenarios without excuses. We don't look at Africa and find issues to complain about. We look at them to solve problems. We have people like Shegun Adaju solving the issues of renewable energy, empowerment of youth. We have architect Benite, who's an architect, became a plumber to solve the issues of water issues within the, the building industry. We have young people like uh, Chinedum Akiti, who has written the book and to, with a focus of encouraging those even in diaspora to come home to make that difference. We have Emmanuel Oweyemi, who deals with mental health, he came to the institute that was his project and today is well recognized by the uh, united nations and a lot of psychologists and psychiatrists because he's so mindful of the fact that uh, mental health um, juxtaposed into issues of transformation within the society we have bumi mini jesu focused on taking the girl child to the next level she's dealing with the issues of young prostitutes on the road so there are so many of us alan kanjina in uganda moved the, the Uganda revenue from minus to over 300% increase. So all our graduates are focused on doing a transformational project, not just a project. The project that has to have effective transformation executed at the level that will create the ultimate transformation that is also sustainable. So when you come here, we deal with very fundamental principles, breaking it down into units so that when you go out of the class, you become that agent of change. And remember, it is all about transformational leadership. And what is the unique thing about transformational leadership? It changes perceptions and it changes values. And if anything Africa needs today is that our perception, our mindset of understanding that how can a continent where all the gold, the silver, the natural resources are, and we are only producing less than 3% global G GDP. It an, it's an embarrassment. And that's why in this institute, we challenge those things through broader thoughts, rigorous thinking, execution action, and ensuring that each student, each participant goes out of the class and is an agent of change and can take a sector, whatever that sector or spheres of in, uh, sphere of influence and create the change that is required. The Oxid Executive Leadership course in itself is designed for executive leaders. And when we say executive leaders, we could have young executive leaders, we could have older executive leaders. And why is it important? Across the world, change has always happened by an elite core, an elite class. Men and women who have thinking capacity can think through the processes. So there are young men and women out there that probably you are at the executive level where you can make decisions. And when you get out of the class, you do not need to be uh, hindered from running. 
while there are those over the years you have been complaining about the issues of Nigeria, the issues of Africa, the complaining will not change it. We need strategic thinkers, we need ability to execute processes, procedures to the nitty gritty for sustainable change in Africa. So executives at this level of this class is for those executive who, executives who can spend time out of their business schedule to become an agent of change. So this institute actually is an institute of training at multi-level with all kinds of tools. We use the lectures, we use movies, we use books, recommended books that can expose our minds to see transformation that is possible within the African continent and beyond.